Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Lauren Lee 11. So let me jump into this video. Now, if you saw the title of this video, you know that it's about Icy Fantasia Gel. Now, I am a super fan of Icy Fantasia Gel, the clear crystal one, and I've used the pink one. Um, just for the moisture it imparts into my hair, the slip that it has, the, everything. It's just amazing. I do like my Eco Styler, but today this is not about Eco Styler. And I actually saw this one in the store the other day, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Styling Gel. Now I think every Joe and his friend is doing Jamaican Black Castor Oil. But Jamaican Black Castor Oil, I do find it grows my daughter's hair amazingly and mine you know, I don't think you can go wrong with Jamaican black castor oil. So I thought I was going to give this a try. Oh, I didn't even realise it's infused with organic virgin hemp seed oil as well. So before I go ahead and use this gel and do this product review, I'm just going to state a few things. <laughs> it says it's alcohol free, non flaking, infused with hemp seed oil, as I just said. Price is £2.99, so about £3, which is very affordable, guys. This firm hold gel, well, firm hold, I don't know. I did try it a little bit on a section of my hair before and it's not got a firm hold like I'm used to, like an eco styler gel. Okay, so it says, this firm hold gel is actually good for your hair. Let's hope so. <laughs> Jamaican black castor oil styling gel infused with organic virgin hemp seed oil is loaded with vitamins, proteins, and fatty acids, which add moisture and help stimulate new growth. Fishes and restores damaged hair for that healthy, natural look, non-flaking formula for all types of hair and styles. Apply to hair while damp, distribute gel evenly, yada, yada, yada. Right, ingredients. The first ingredient is water. Second, my favorite, <laughs> glycerin. And it then goes on to castor oil, it's got seed oil, it's got tea tree, leaf oil, cannabis sativa, which is the hemp. It's got Indian hemp, root extract, iron oxides. Not bad, not bad. Right, so enough about the packaging and the pricing and what have you. Let's see what the gel looks and smells like. This, guys, reminds me of, look-wise, reminds me of the Gold Eco Styler. It's got those little shimmery, glittery bits in there, as the Gold Eco Styler does. This one smells like an incense stick, but it's not as strong. It's not what I'd usually go for, what I'd expect a hair product to smell like, but uh, it's okay. Right, so I'm gonna show you the texture. To me, it's quite watery, so this makes me feel, I'm not gonna lie, this makes me feel a little bit nervous because I like my gels to be slightly more tacky, but to be honest, judging by the other IC gels that I've used, I've had amazing definition and hold, so hopefully this will be the same or even better. What I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna stop talking here. I'm just gonna go ahead and style my hair. So just carry on watching guys. Oh, and by the way guys, sorry, just to say, I am not using any leave-in conditioners because when I test gels, I like to do a fair test, meaning I just like to see how the product works solely without any interference of any other products, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of camera, guys, and I will come back to you. you know, I'm sure you don't wanna be sitting here staring at my pretty little face. <laughs> okay, guys, I am back after application. It seemed like a mission to apply this to my hair. It literally took me nearly 
45 minutes to apply this. Usually it's about 20 minutes, half an hour. Okay, so let me tell you my penultimate thoughts. So, let me show you. This is how much gel I've used. I feel I've used quite a bit just for one wash and go. The reason why I feel like I use so much is because the product itself is quite watery and I thought it was gonna be a lot like, as I said, the gold eco styler. But as far as the color goes, that's where the similarities stop because it's not tacky. I don't feel I'm getting quite a bit of a hold and I feel, to be honest, a little bit disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. Reason being is because I noticed, guys, once my hair started to dry, it started to kind of separate and go frizzy. There's not really much definition and hold. And it's meant to be a firm gel. I feel like the clear one is a lot firmer than this. So yeah, usually the Eco Styler or the Icy Gel, the clear one, would get this all the way together and it would be nicely defined. Now I do like the definition, but I'm hoping that it will dry to a, to a point where I like, let's just say. <laughs> I don't know guys, I'm gonna have to see once it's finally dried. I do, don't get me wrong, I do like the curls. Look at this, this is nice. But as I said, once my hair started to dry, it's starting to frizz as well. But frizz isn't too bad, it will add to the volume, okay? It smells fine, the smell is fine. Once you apply it on your hair, it kind of disappears. But other than that, I'm just gonna have to let you know, guys, once it's fully dry. Okay, everyone, so I'm back. It has been about four hours, approximately, maybe a little bit longer, and my hair is still not completely dried. It's very, very wet hair. Right, so here are my final thoughts. Um. <sighs> Okay guys, I don't want you to be put off. I want you to try this as well if you want to. I don't want you to just go by what I'm saying, but for me, I think it's a no. Reason being guys, is because it's puffy like this. I don't usually get this. And parts of my hair like this, look at this, separation. Okay, and it's still wet in those areas. I got, Shrinkage is not too, too bad. My hair feels nice and full, but hmm, the curls are nice, but it's not too, yeah, look at this. So it, it goes nice hair and then it just separates. That's not what I'm looking for because then it's not gonna last. So that made me feel quite disappointed with this product. I had high hopes for it and I'm quite disappointed. Smell. Smell is fine. My hair does feel moisturized. Apart from these parts that are a bit frizzy, they feel a bit dry, unfortunately. But overall, I'm not gonna say 100% no, guys. But for me personally, not necessarily. It's not really for me. Not really for me. I think maybe if I was doing a sleep that look, it would look nice with waves. I don't know, but not as a wash and go, guys. So I'm sorry guys, this one's a no for me today. And if you have tried this product, let me know what you think and see how those results turned out because uh, it wasn't really what I was expecting. But anyway guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.